Gotta get my fans on me, they dig them up. Ain't no money about to sell them. Think about Trey, I'm finna go dig them up. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Charles. Okay, coming back to you guys with another video. And as you guys can see from the title of today's video, I'm about to show you guys two of the best working instant boss room glitches on Elder Ring after all the most recent patches and updates. Also, before today's video does get started, make sure that y'all are going into the pinned comment down below and enter our Elder Ring Shadow of the Earth Tree DLC giveaway. The only thing you guys have to do is follow all those instructions that is in the pinned comment down below for a chance to win. And one last thing before the video does get started for my people who wants a max player instantly without having to do anything at all, here's a message from today's video sponsor. Today's video sponsor, which is gonna be called Guapchi. They offer services for many amounts of games, as you guys can see. They also have great prices for their services and the service is fast and 100% trusted. So please be sure to check the description down below and check them out. All right, now that all that has been said and out of the way, let's go ahead and get started with the video. Enjoy the glitches. Boss that we're going to be taking care of in today's video is Star Courage Radon, aka General Radon, whatever you guys want to call him. Now, in this video, the equipment that we're going to be using to take him down is the Prince of Death Staff, and the uh, spell that we're going to be using is the Rock Sling spell. That's literally all that you guys are going to need for what I'm going to show you in today's video. Now that all that has been said, let's go ahead and uh, go through this teleporter and get into the boss fight itself. All right, now once you guys do enter the arena, it will be very red and uh, smoky. So you just want to uh, get closer to Radon and travel diagonally while running like you guys see me doing when he is shooting the arrows at you because this is the only way you guys can get close to him when you guys are in here because running straight at him will get you hit by the arrows. However, once you guys do get close enough to him, like you guys are about to see, he will then put the arrows away and begin charging you on his horse. And that's exactly what you guys do want. Now at this point, you know, you just want to run to where I'm going to in the video, which is uh, toward a, sort of west towards the um, the boss arena. Like to know if you're in the right spot, you will see the tree stump and stuff like that. You will also see this pyramid uh, shaped building uh, on the screen right now. But anyway, once you guys do get past this, you get past this little rock right here, you will see that there is um, like a little tree area. And that's how you guys know that you are in the right spot. So from here, what you guys are going to do is take this little uh, mountain hill top up right here. You're going to make your way here and then you're going to run slightly towards the edge just like so and begin jumping up the side of the mountain. Now, if you guys do fall off, that's completely fine. Just go back and do it like I showed you guys and jump right back up here. And now the key to doing that jump right there is just making sure you run towards the edge a little bit before jumping. Now, at this point, what you guys want to do is walk very slowly on this tree branch so you do not fall off. Uh, and make Radon go in front of the mountain all the way towards the bottom. And that's how you guys know you are in, you know, the glitch and in the right spot. So from up here, none of his attacks will be able to get you or harm you. And what you guys want to do is angle the camera uh, so slightly that you are able to lock on to him. And now at this point, once you guys have locked on to him, all you want to do is just continuously spam him out with the rock sling. Now, like I was telling you guys, if you cannot lock on to Radon, just angle your camera uh, differently and you guys will be fine. And at this point, what you're going to do is basically just spam him with the rock sling until he does go into his phase two. Now, it's very important once he does go into his phase two that you guys, um, you know, do get down from here because he will fly up in the air like you guys see him doing right now. So at this point, what you want to do is hurry up, get on torrent, turn around and get down the mountain like you guys see me doing. Now, when you guys are doing this, he will not be able to hit you. He will land on top of the mountain, and that's completely what you guys want. Now, at this point, you can just go ahead and heal up and do whatever you guys need to do before you do get back into the spot. And now, once he does start coming down to chase you, he will, you know, pull out all of these rings and stuff, which is completely fine, okay? So, what you're going to do is just move him away from the spot that we actually do need. Uh, so we can get enough time to get back into the spot now at this point once you guys have moved him away a little bit He will begin to start to charge you just ignore him and we're just gonna go right back into our spot Like you guys see me doing in the video right now Now the reason why we do have to get down from here is because you guys know his second um His second phase before he does come up here He does you know charge up into the air and with him charging up into the air He is able to actually get up here and knock you down. So that's why we had to um get now from here but anyway once you guys are back up here we're just going to simply do what we was doing before but at this point once you guys are back up here and you've got radon stuck like you guys see me doing right now in the video all you want to do is simply just spam him out uh, before he does die also go into your inventory and use a gold foul pickle foot and you guys will be good to go when doing this 
in today's video is the castle soul main gate side of grace that is located in the mountaintops of the giants um area of the map now the boss that we're going to be killing with this glitch is commander Null. if you guys have don't know or you know have not seen commander Null, i'm going to go in the castle and show you guys basically what boss it is if you are new to elder ring but I'm, i know a lot of people are not new and they know who this boss is but just for the new people i'm going to show you guys who he is so uh basically you will make your way to that side of grace that i was just at and come through the castle and just transverse to where i'm going through uh you will come up these stairs it's going to be various uh amounts of enemies in here you do not have to fight them you can simply just walk past them like you guys see me doing right now just a bunch of shadow figures and um you know enemies you don't really want to deal with the main boss you want to deal with is in here okay now keep on i'm not going to be fighting him i'm going to show you guys the boss that we're going to be killing with this glitch okay so basically you're going to be killing him dude right here commander and all you know you come in here he's gonna spawn his two minions or whatever so it's gonna allow them to kill me and then i'm gonna proceed to show you guys the glitch but this right here is the boss that we're gonna be killing in today's video with what i'm about to show you guys all right so from the side of grace that we've started with in today's video all you want to do is follow where i'm going uh you just want to make your way around you know the ding dong rock uh, that's what i call them uh make your way around this castle uh, you're going to transverse to the back of the castle on torrent like you guys see me doing in a video right now and once you guys get to the um special spot it will be basically like on the back side of this castle like where i'm at in this area right here uh you will just make this little jump come over here and the area that we're going to be jumping off is right over here okay so it's going to be this little cliff um i believe right about yeah right about here is going to be this cliff right here okay now before you do jump off and do anything you know once you guys do get here all you want to do is go into your inventory and then make sure that you do use a gold foul pickle foot and just for good measures you guys know we do show love to the silver foul pickle foot as well now another thing that you guys do want to have on is the golden scarab because it gives you another increased amount of runes for defeating enemies all right now at this point once you guys are here all you're going to do is run and jump off the cliff and begin melee but um, also make sure that you do do a double jump because you want to get out farther um as far as possible now make sure that you do have a melee weapon in your hand as well but if you guys do get out and jump out far enough it will look exactly like this And now at this point, once you guys are falling endlessly, all you guys are going to simply do is continue attacking the air until it does tell you that, you know, a great enemy has failed it and has been defeated. And that's how you guys know you have done that correctly. And I'll be right back to tell you guys what to do once you guys have gotten that on your screen. Boom. So as you guys can see, it says great enemy has been failed it, and that is uh, Commander Null. So at this point, what you're going to do is just teleport right back to the side of grace that we did start with in today's video, which is that Castle Main Soul Gate side of grace. And as you guys saw, you will be given 360,000 rooms instantly for literally doing nothing at all uh just jumping off the mount but that's going to be in today's video man i hope you guys did enjoy don't drop a like on today's video and don't me turn on post notifications it's me your boy charles 2k i will catch you guys in the next one i'm out peace